Hey guys, Lee Cole here. And um, I got review access to this pretty cool software. It's called Mapify 360. And this is all about finding Google My Business listings and giving you information about them so that you in turn can you know, reach out to the business owner and help them uh, claim their listing, help them rank the listing better, et cetera, et cetera. And it's a pretty good piece of software. It's it's not perfect, okay? I mean, I, I'll just be honest with you. It's not perfect. I mean, for the price, it's excellent. But, it, but it's pretty good. And uh, I just want to show you around it. So here I am inside. Well, let's just go to the dashboard. Here we are inside the dashboard. And, um, you know, a, this is not really the heart of it. This is just telling you how many people you contacted, et cetera, et cetera. So it's got kind of a, a mini CRM type thing in it. But really, the heart of the whole thing is the business finder. Let's go over here. So search unclaimed businesses on Google My Business. Now, before I go on and do the search, that right there, not purposefully, but that right there could be misleading because this what this does is it returns all of the Google My Business listings that it finds that match your search criteria. Um, notice you have to hook it up to Google's API, which is a good thing. It's not a scraper. It works through Google's API. But that's good. That means it's going to keep on working. Um, but it doesn't just return unclaimed listings. And uh, I've, I've been playing around with it this morning. I, I, w I was kind of hoping that it would. But uh, but it doesn't. It's still useful, though. Watch this. So plumber, let's enter a uh, name of a city. This is a little city in Georgia. And uh, so it searches. Now, th this takes a while, okay, honestly, because, again, it's using Google's API. It's not, uh, you know, doing a scraper and opening up a browser type thing. It's actually making calls to Google. And you can filter these leads. You can say only leads with emails. Okay. So you can just filter the leads with emails. Decatur is not a big area in case uh, in, 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 in case you're wondering why there are only two leads with emails. It's just not that big. I probably should have searched a larger geographic area. Only leads with websites. You can, you know, uh, if you just want to... Uh, for whatever reason, just want to contact businesses that already have websites, only leads with no websites. This is pretty good. Okay. You know, I was, as I was using, you know, like I said, it doesn't really have a way of just checking for businesses that are unclaimed. However, as I'm playing around with this, I have noticed that a lot of these um, businesses that don't have websites, a lot of these are unclaimed, okay? Um, now, it could be that the business is out of business. It could be that they're just getting going. It could be that they're really small. I mean, it's life, right? I mean, the, the, you know, just because you find this does not guarantee you a sale, and you know, hopefully you know that, but... Uh, Ignore that noise. Those are my two dogs, both of which are rescue dogs, and we, we really believe in that, so uh, we, we put up with stuff like that. But anyway, and they love to play. They're, they're two uh, lab mixes. But anyway, take this Tilly Plumbing. Let's just take this, and if you will go over here to business.google.com, um, if you will go either to create or add, either way, I think add will do it. Bam. Okay, so then we can... Put that in there and um, notice it, this is on uh, Ponce de Leon Court uh, right there. And if you will go start to go through the claiming process, n notice it's, it's finding this stuff and it's populating all these fields with stuff like plumber and stuff like that, you know. And it's got a phone number, which is that phone number, okay. So Google's already done some of the work for you here. Now, if you get all the way up in, in this process, if you get all the way up to finish and verify this business, this business is not verified, okay? So, but unfortunately, the software doesn't do all that stuff for you. 
But as a kind of a workaround, you can <laughs> just ignore the dogs. As a kind of a workaround, you can check out um, businesses with no websites. I, I have found that a, a high percentage of those are not claimed. If you're into contacting, you know, businesses that are not claimed. And, and then if you're doing rep management, I like this also, only leads with ratings of 4 to 4.4 or less. So these are the people that need help with, uh, there's that same business. These are the people that need help with uh, their stars. And a lot of these are unstarred and a lot of these don't have emails. You know, I don't know, but uh, th this might, they don't have, uh, I think they probably don't even have a website. They don't have um, uh, email listed there. Th this may be an unclaimed uh, listing. And, um, you know, he here we've got some stars. Pam the plumber needs a little help. Cody's plumbing needs a little help. But anyway, so that's how it finds stuff. All right. And it it is... You know, it's good. It's not excellent. It's good. I'm just being honest with you. Okay. I mean, it, it it would be excellent for me if it just could tell you what those unclaimed listings were without you having to go through a bunch of stuff to find them. Uh, unfortunately, that's gotten harder to do via Google's API. All right. So it, it just is what it is. It's still a very useful piece of software. Now, so what, what else can it do? Um, Go over here to campaign. Well, let's go back. Hang on a minute. Oh, shoot. I lost my... Hold on. Because I want to show you something here. Sorry about that. We're going to have to wait two seconds while it um, um, continues to search. All righty. So, you add... You know, when, when you... This is the search feature, Right. And so you got the search feature and then you add these, you know, you, you, you basically want to take the businesses out of this that you uh, want to do something further with. All right. So and you can add these to a campaign like M. Carey and Daughters Plumbing. You can add this to a campaign. It brings up this page and you just come down here. I, I created this new campaign just to add stuff to. And that lead is added to that. So you can you in other words, you can you, you can take your leads out. All right or your potential leads out and you can add them uh, to campaigns and you can see these campaigns that you create over here on this tab I, I just clicked right there and um, you can see these three leads that I added to this campaign uh, it keeps track of whether you contact them or whether you won the lead in other words whether you made the sale it doesn't keep track of that automatically. There's frankly no way that it could keep track of that automatically. That's just something you have to click on the inside. Um, but let's let's open this up and view Plumbing Decatur. And uh, here we go, Plumbing Decatur. So you've got all of these fields. Now, again, the Google My Business status. Okay, so if you want to update the status, you can update it to claimed or unclaimed you're going to have to go through this process that, that I just showed you, um, you know, at business.google.com forward slash ad in order to figure out whether it's claimed or unclaimed. It is what it is. But um, it does do a lot of really cool stuff. I really like the report. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can get to the report. Frankly, you can get to the report from the Business Finder, but I really like the report. Let's generate the report for the plumbing detectives. Now, this is a really, really cool report because um, it's telling you, num number one, at the top here, it's telling you... Um, how well the page is optimized. I mean, do they have the minimum details? Do they have a category? Do they have a minimum five reviews? What's the rating? The rating's five. Do they have images? All of this stuff is very important on-page optimization stuff for Google My Business. Then we get down to essentially citations. Yelp page, Foursquare, Facebook places, rich snippets. Uh, that has to do with optimization. Does the business have um, SSL? In other words, um, um, is Google going to flag it when somebody uh, goes to that website if they're on Chrome and say, uh, you've probably seen this, say, you know, that this is, uh, you know, potentially hazardous page or something like that. Um, 
this difference if, if, if you just getting a little technical here it's the difference between HTTP and HTTPS if that means anything to you 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 understand what I just said if it doesn't mean anything to you don't worry about it look at the reviews do they have some reviews Yeah, they have some reviews um, Google my business optimization in other words more stuff valid address phone number website hours listed photos see photos there these guys are doing pretty good now keyword density uh, if you you know for that keyword I'm not sure if that's the best keyword but for that keyword um, basically telling you about keyword density and uh, videos on YouTube they don't that that is, is an excellent thing that they need videos on YouTube <coughs> and their top five competitors I like this report a lot and you can download it as a PDF okay so it just does this and let's just open that up and I'll show it to you okay see that I mean it's a nice report right and uh, it, uh, I mean, this would be great information to you know send to a business that you're trying to you know that, that you're you're trying to get them interested in your Google My Business services. So I really like that part a lot. That that was good. I really like that part a lot. Um, it has a, a citation optimizer, which is something that helps you optimize. You know, ba basically, it's uh, showing you where the citations are, or rather, where they aren't, and helping you optimize that. Um, for some reason, that's not working. I tried this. I was in here about an hour ago, and it was working fine, and it's not working now. And I, I just uh, got off uh, Facebook Messenger with uh, Adrian. Is Isfan, who is one of the uh, vendors of this, I know Adrian, and uh, the the programmer for this would be Christian. I, I I know those guys really well, and they're they're really quality guys. But uh, I know that they're making a few tweaks in the software, so we're not going to worry about that. Local tools, um, local ranking. You know, rank checker. You, with this tool, you can simulate lo local rankings almost any place in the world. The problem with uh, Google My Business, if you want to um, um, deal with it outside your local area, is that if, if I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and i am got a client in Denver, Colorado, and I'm trying to see where they're ranking for their Google My, you know, Google page, I mean, this is all local marketing, right? You know, my search results are going to be different from the people, you know, from if, if I was searching, let's say, on my phone or on a computer, and I was actually located in Den Denver. And this is really useful because this is going to, it's not perfect. Again, I think probably just uh, talking with uh, uh, Adrian about it, but, but, but it's really close to perfect. And it's going to simulate the same results that you would get if I were in Denver. And <laughs> my dogs need some attention. This is uh, videos and help. It's got good training. It, you know, shows you all about this. So, you know, personally, I would give this like a 4.6 out of 5 ranking. I think it's it, it's not totally excellent because um, I, I, I would really want something that would could do a little bit more for the unclaimed businesses. Having said that, doing that through software used, used to be, isn't anymore, used to be so much easier than it is now. Okay, so so in all fairness, that's really, really hard to do. And uh, in my own business, we're creating some software that, that, that's when we're working on doing that. And it is honestly just hard to do. I mean, you, you just have to use some workarounds in order to do that. But with that little thing, you know, ju ju just with that little caveat, uh, the rest of it, I think, is really, really cool. I think it's well laid out and it's a very useful tool. So, again, my name's Lee Cole. Hope you enjoyed this video. Mapify 360. This launches on the 23rd of January. If you own the YouTube, just scroll down to the um, uh, description. You'll see a link to my bonus page. If you're on my bonus page, just click uh, uh, next or next step, the, the button on the bonus page, and it'll take you to the sales letter. Thanks so much. Talk to you very soon.